Welcome back to Tales from the Road on RV Newsnet at RVNN.TV. And we've been talking about some of the items that are there to celebrate our pets. And now we're going to discuss how to keep the holidays happy and safe and not have to worry about that day after right. trip to <laughs> the vet. So <laughs> let's talk about that. And what do we need to know about staying safe, you know, Thanksgiving, all those party holidays? Sure, sure. Well, the biggest thing to remember is that for most pets, dogs and cats anyway, um, the world is their true toy. So things that you may not think about being uh, an issue uh, become an issue when you start decorating for the holidays. So the curling ribbon, the um, tissue paper, twine, garland, all of these things become the true toy. Um, the other thing is you put in this fantastic tree that you spent hours <laughs> and hours uh, decorating and uh, it is either serves as a um, uh, chew toy, uh, potty station, water bowl, <laughs> you got a live tree. Uh, it can awesome. be uh, any number of things except for a celebrated and beautiful Christmas tree. So I, you have to think about Christmas cool. vacation. Exactly. It, and the cat and the tree and yeah. that whole mess of things. Yeah, you, it, it, you don't want that. No, <laughs> it's, it would be a bad thing. Um, and even the decorations that are on there, you also have to be careful with those because um, we have do have x-rays of little Christmas ornaments making their <laughs> way through. <laughs> so have to be careful with that. Yeah. Um, now, while you're decorating, make sure and keep tabs on the furry kids uh, because we have had more than one pet get um, lost track of and then we find huh. a storage box starts meowing a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> so, so keep tabs on them, make sure they don't get shut in the attic or in the basement or wherever you may you know, store your holiday type things. I think we should roll clips from Christmas Vacation because that comes into mind that when Grandma wraps up wraps the cat. Wraps up gift. Yeah, that's right. Instead that's of right. the jello or something. So, okay, so we have these parties. Um, what about the parties and the guests? Wh where do we go from there? Sure, sure. So we have a ton of uh, different reasons to gather together over um, the holiday season. And for pets that are really well socialized, um, this is an awesome time to because they have like dozens of people come and adore me. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, but for, for pets who typically are home alone all day, only see their family, don't really go anywhere, um, this can be a complete freak out moment. So on their freak meter they would be way over to the side. Um, so we have to take that into consideration. So um, if they get really fearful or anxious when we mm -hmm. have a lot of people over, you do want to make sure and um, either have them in another area, perhaps board them and have a pet sitter or something for the time that you're going to have everybody over. Right, absolutely. And we have to even think about, you know, if you're traveling on the road, obviously there's a lot of traveling during the holidays right. that taking the cat out of their original environment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. taking mm -hmm. them on the road and then sticking them in a new environment. Right. That's got to be trauma traumatizing. For it is a little bit, yeah. When they're not used to it, it's, it's a big upheaval. So do you have to worry about certain holiday foods? That's probably a huge question. Yeah, absolutely. And um, there's really no, um, you know, with the exceptions of things that are, are poisonous, and things like chocolate, um, uh, onions, and uh, garlic, tomato plants, those kinds of things, um, any food can be problematic if your pet's not used to having it. So, um, and, and these are probably the number one offenders of our after the holidays uh, ill pet visits are the overindulgence. <laughs> so, <laughs> so whether it's something like, oh, I just got, you know, too many little pieces of turkey or whatever shoved at me or um, got into something <laughs> um, undercooked or toxic, yeah. um, you know, those kinds of things really, uh, you know, really can can cause havoc. The other thing, of course, that we see are going to be the foreign bodies. So, mm -hmm. um, and we do count bones as that. Um, we see a lot of damage happen from bones. So don't give the wishbone to the dog <laughs> and that kind of stuff. And we have wishbone the dog, but we don't want to wishbone do not wish dog. On the dog. Yes, yeah. that is correct. That's correct. So lots of different ways. And like you talked about those bows and all those things, that's mm -hmm. that's a pet's playground. But you look at these some of these toys, they're kind of made out of ribbons. So there's just an abundance it's of them at the holidays. Yeah, it's like the jackpot. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. I think humans think it's a jackpot. Just imagine what it's like exactly. being a pet. Exactly. So steer clear of those. Make sure things are put away. Mm -hmm. Careful mm -hmm. with the food. And I think also you've got so many family members. If you have a social animal, Mm -hmm. Little cousins feeding. Exactly. You have to keep tabs on your guests. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Absolutely. So absolutely. keep track on everyone. That's right. At the holidays. <laughs> so we don't have to go to the vet the next day, even though Dr. Wendy's a really great vet. Well, thank you. 
yes. we just don't want to give we, you too much. We'd like to concentrate on wellness care and preventive care and there not <laughs> going down chasing uh, Christmas ornaments out of tummies. There you go. <laughs> well, the whole world is a little different when taken from a pet's eye view, but mm -hmm. you can always mm -hmm. view us. Is that a good transition? That was there, fantastic. There you go. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, forward slash RV Newsnet, on Twitter, of course, at rvnn.tv. Mm -hmm. Or you can give us a call at 877-578-7866. And that 7866 is RVNN. Yeah. So, and Dr. Wendy's extension is 705. So give her a voicemail and we will answer your questions, which we're going to be doing on the next segment. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. For more TV like this from the world of RVs, head to rvnn.tv. <laughs>